What's going on everybody? Brandon Stoker here on behalf of Monster Bass and in today's episode we're going to be talking about my top five lures for fishing the fall time. So before we dive into the lures guys we got to look at what are the fish going to be feeding on this time of the year. We're in the fall time okay those fish are going to start feeding up for the winter they have to it's just a natural thing that happens with bass that they just know that they need to feed up and this is the time of the year when they do it. This is the time of the year where you're going to start to find and focus on uh, those shallow pockets those shallow coves where those fish are going to push bait fish into and really squeeze up on them and just feed like heck on them. So you got to pay attention to what kind of bait fish are in your lake or are in your river system. You know, around here on the Mississippi, especially, we're going to be fishing. You know, a lot of uh, you know shad, uh, bait, any sort of bait fish, really sunfish, bluegill, any sort of thing like that. So any bait that resembles that is going to be a good choice. The fall time can really be a heck of a time to fish, guys. I've gone out in the fall time and just hammered bass. I mean, you can pretty much toss just about anything on a good day of fall fishing and they're going to eat it just because of that, the natural fact that they have to feed up. Here are my top five that I use specifically in the fall time that get me the most bites. So the first thing that I like to use, guys, is a walking bait. It's one of my favorite things to use, um, especially early, early mornings. I love to get out early morning in the fall time, get into those shallow bays, pockets, and you can see, you'll see bass just busting on shad, busting on different bait fish, and that's where throwing a walking bait or even a popper style bait is going to be key. This is actually one of the monster bass uh, walking baits here. Um, and this thing, it, it walks really, really well. Um, but like I said, a walking bait or a uh, popper is gonna resemble those bait fish kind of popping, getting uh, chased by those bigger fish. And especially like a big walking bait like this, it really stands out to that fish. Um, those fish are feeding up on bigger schools, bigger balls of bait, and they need something uh, that's gonna stand out to them. So anything that you can do with a lure that's gonna really stand out is gonna be money. But like I said, a walking bait or a topwater popper works great. That leads me to my next bait here, guys, and that's going to be a spinner bait. Now here I have like a white and chartreuse uh, spinner bait. Um, I mainly for colors I like to use uh, like a white and chartreuse or your like sexy shad style color, something that's going to resemble the bait that are in my area. It's really convenient that this uh, this spinner bait actually came in my Monster Bass box for uh, September. Um, perfect for the fall uh, time fishing, especially around in the Midwest region. But what I love about a spinner bait and what makes a spinner bait so special amongst other baits is the blades. It creates that vibration and it creates that shine in the water. You're going to have balls of bait that are getting chased around by fish and these spinner baits are really good at standing out. Okay, you're going to have bass that are striking huge balls of bait and if you have a spinner bait that's shining, really shimmering in the water, that's going to get that bass to hit your lure over just uh, pretty much missing it. So you can never go wrong with a spinner bait, guys. The next bait I like to go to, guys, is a square bill. Now, um, I love a square bill crankbait, uh, especially for just pounding it off a rock. Like these bass are going to be sitting shallow. If you can find some good riprap, a good you know spot of rock that you want to rip something through that's going to be uh, resembling a shad or bait fish, what better than a square bill crankbait? This is uh, like a bluegill style um, color, which works really well, and then this is just your traditional sexy shad color. Um, if I'm fishing more stained water, I'm going to fish more of like a red style square bill crankbait or even a uh, like chartreuse and black works really good in stained water but a square bill you, you can't go wrong with that it resembles um, a bait fish perfectly my next favorite bait to throw guys if the spinner bait isn't quite working um, especially you know early fall when you're you're trying to toss that spinner bait around but you're getting hung up in grass you're having to rip through grass constantly um, it can get annoying and frustrating so if I'm ever in those situations where um, the spinner baits just not doing it for me um, and I'm having to rip it through grass I switch it up to a swim jig here now I love fishing a swim jig I'm a huge fan of a swim jig um, they're very versatile bait but I love them because you can skip them under docks you can get them into those shallow areas and they pull through the grass really well. They're really designed to come through the grass super nice. Um, and I love to throw like a rage tail paddle tail on them um, or just any sort of paddle tail. Kai Tech even works. Um, but I love that because it's going to resemble once again a bait fish coming through the water. Now I like to use white quite a bit but if, uh, if white's just not doing it for me and the water's really stained really muddy I'll switch it up to uh, a black and blue. You can never go wrong with black and blue in my opinion. Um, but those are pretty much the two main colors I use for swim jigs is a white and a black and blue. Uh, you could switch it up to like a bluegill pattern and that's going to work just as good. 
Now lastly guys, if I'm fishing and I'm just not getting bit off of any of those baits that are resembling bait fish and whatnot, and it just seems like, especially towards the end of fall when the water temps are really dropping, those fish are gonna start to get a little more finicky because the water's really cooling down. That's when I like to switch it up to just like a flipping jig. I like to go to like a 3 8 or a half ounce flipping jig, um, throw on a crawfish style trailer on it, um, and throw that sucker around. Just flip it around brush piles, around rock, um, around wood especially. Uh, you can really throw a jig just about anywhere. And like I said, when those water temps are really, really cooling down, you're definitely gonna wanna you know, have at least one, a jig or something in the box to get on the bottom and just try to finesse those fish into a good bite. Another thing with the jig is I like to use black black and blue quite a bit, um, especially around here it gets a lot of stained water, but a white jig works just as good. Or you could go for a more natural color as well. But it's really going to depend on water clarity. Uh, most of the time I'm fishing pretty stained water, so I'm going to stick to black and blue. But there you have it guys, those are my top five fall bass fishing lures. Um, like I said, you could pretty much throw just about anything. Not only just these um, are going to work in the fall time, but these are pretty much my five go-to lures for the fall time. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.